Welcome back everyone to another video, Rico here, and in this video I'm going to be explaining to you how flying machines work. Now keep in mind this is a very basic explanation and it's a super short video. If you want more on how this works then I'll link to an Ilmango video that was made three years ago now, but it's still pretty accurate so that'll work for you. Now let's get into this short explanation. This is an old design from back before there were observers in 1.10 I believe. But it still works now and it really gets the point across. For this machine to fly, really you need two things. You need a piston to push, another piston which can pull that piston to it again, and then just <clears throat> inch those blocks along to where, wherever you want them to go. So this one works by this piston being powered by this redstone block, but it doesn't know it because it's not updated, so as soon as you update it, it will realize it's powered and it will push. But first, before it does that, this piston, which is a sticky piston, this is a not sticky piston, but this one is a sticky piston, and this sticky piston has to be powered to pull that block along before that block can push. To do that, you can update it, and I'm going to use flint and steel for that. that. That's the main engine. I should probably show that, yeah. So when this piston is updated, it will push, and then this one will realize it's updated by this block, and push it again. And then this is an extension to continue the thing along. So here's the piston, and piston block. This updates this block, this um, piston, every time this piston is pushed over here. It's updated and this piston will push this along, and you, you can just see how this works, it'll be easier that way. Oh. There we go. <laughs> so as you saw, this piston was pushing these blocks, this, this entire thing here, and then every time this piston realized it was powered by this, because of course this block used to be here, but then those blocks are pushed into it, and it pushes it along further, it updates this piston, and this piston pushes these blocks back, which updates this piston, which pushes them all forward again. I hope you understood that. This flying machine does the same thing. This one's very commonly used. It's it, Because it's so small, I think it's as small as it can get. Most flying machines using observers tend to be slower than ones that don't use observers because observers have a longer tick delay than a redstone block updating a piston like that. This observer updates this piston, or powers this piston, which, push it, which pushes these three blocks, this sticky piston, this slime block, and this observer. <coughs> this is, these are both sticky pistons, by the way. Pushes all these three blocks forward, and when it does that, this observer is updated, and powers this sticky piston, which pulls these three blocks towards it. Then this piston will push again because it updates this observer. And it just repeats that over and over again. And that works the other way too, because they're both sticky pistons. I hope you understood a little bit about how flying machines work, though there is a much better tutorial about this, just it's a little longer, by El Mango, and I'll link to that in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Like, subscribe, all the fancy YouTube things.